Nearly all life on Earth depends on photosynthesis, the conversion of light energy into chemical energy. Oxygen-producing plants and cyanobacteria perfected this process 2.7 billion years ago. But the first photosynthetic organisms were likely single-celled purple bacteria that began absorbing near-infrared light and converting it to sulfur or sulfates about 3.4 billion years ago. Found in the bottom of lakes and ponds today, purple bacteria possess simpler photosynthetic organelles specialized cellular subunits called chromatophores than plants and algae. For that reason, Klaus Schulten of the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign UIUC, targeted the chromatophore to study photosynthesis at the atomic level. As a computational biophysicist, Schulten unites biologists' experimental data with the physical laws that govern the behavior of matter. This combination allows him to simulate biomolecules atom by atom using supercomputers. The simulations reveal interactions between molecules that are impossible to observe in the laboratory, providing plausible explanations for how molecules carry out biological functions in nature. In 2014, a team led by Schulten used the Titan supercomputer, located at the U.S. Department of Energy's DOE's Oak Ridge National National Laboratory to construct and simulate a single chromatophore. The soccer ball-shaped chromatophore contained more than 100 million atoms a significantly larger biomolecular system than any previously modeled. The project's scale required Titan, the flagship supercomputer at the Oak Ridge Leadership Computing Facility OLCF, a DOE Office of Science user facility to calculate the interaction of millions of atoms in a feasible time frame that would allow for data analysis. 